The sea devils ruled the earth when humans were apes, just as the Silurians did. TV, the sea devils. Both the Silurian and sea devil races were led by the triad, their custodians. TV, warriors of the deep. While one sea devil chief, whom the 13th doctor wrote off as a zealot, claimed the earth had been covered in glorious aqua during the age of his kind, TV, legend of the sea devils, the sea devils and Silurians lived alongside each other. TV, warriors of the deep with the Silurians ruling over warm land masses, prose, blood heat, TV, the hungry earth, while their underwater cousins lived within the seas. TV, warriors of the deep, when the moon approached earth, TV, Doctor Who and the Silurians, the Silurian and sea devil scientists calculated a great catastrophe in which all life would be wiped out, TV, Doctor Who and the Silurians, the sea devils, by the moon, sweep by earth, prose, Doctor Who and the cave monsters, and drying away the atmosphere. TV, Doctor Who and the Silurians. The third doctor repeated the claim to Mark Marshall that the Silurians built the shelters when they thought the planet would suck away Earth's atmosphere as it rushed by. Pros, the scales of injustice. Conversely, the fifth doctor recalled that the Silurian astronomers predicted that Earth was about to be struck by the planet at the time. Pros, warriors of the deep. And the eleventh doctor described the trajectory of the planet the astronomers had predicted as a crash course. TV, cold blood. The catastrophe did not happen as predicted, and the sea devils remained inside their hibernation units. During millions of years of hibernation, the reactivation machinery of the hibernation units deteriorated. TV, the sea devils. There were millions of hibernating sea devils across the globe. Game, lost in time.